Yeah. God damn it. Oh shit, I wasn't looking. Okay, but actually tell a story, go. Uh, well, you were talking about other, other stories, so uh, I kind of want to talk about uh, a story that kind of involved a douchebag at my school. A douche nozzle? Yeah. So, I think it was at North Central High, which is like the second high school I've been to now, yeah. Um, what's the call? I'm just going to be up front here. I was bullied a lot there, a lot, because oh, most of the people there were country Excuse people. <coughs> Mm -hmm. And yeah. if you're slightly different than those type of people, you're bullied or outcasted. So a lot of like, the at my, a lot of the people at my school are rednecks. Oh, so you like, know. there's this one dude named Christian, right? I don't know what I did to him or whatever, or I don't know. I guess because I was different or something. But he like always like went after me, no matter what. And like, was it like a passive aggressive or was it like straight up punching you in the dick? No, it wasn't like that. It was just like. He, he would not leave me alone at all. Say it the sec- it rolls off the tongue really well. Okay. Are you joking? <laughs> but uh... That's not something to be proud of! Okay, go Eric. Keep going. But uh, he did, he did a lot of... <laughs> like, he's been doing a lot of bad things ever since like middle school though. Like this is actually really, really personal. I never actually said this, so here we go. If you don't, if you don't want to talk about it, you don't have. No, to. it's it's about time I've said this. Um, back in middle school, he I don't know what I did. I guess because I was different. I don't know. Plus, I was an easy target because I was quiet. But uh, for some reason, I don't know why. I think it was because I helped my brother too because. Of, of oh, you have reasons. a brother? Oh yeah, yeah. I think he. <laughs> and uh, so he decided. Is this thing gonna come back down? Fuck it. So he decided that, thanks to my brother also, and since he loved bullying me, because I was a quiet kid, uh, he would spread a rumor about me being gay for some reason. Oh. And That's it, crazy. like, everyone believed it, because I was a quiet one with long hair, so everyone believed it. And I lost a lot of reputation, I got made fun of a lot. I got, uh, I kind well, of went into the Shame phase. on everyone for. Fuck, for being what am I gay? doing? First of all, shame on everyone for being against gays. Second of all, shame on them for for believing that lie. Okay, keep going. But uh, I actually went through like like depression because of that, because I lost so many like respect and everyone looked down upon me and stuff. I know some of my actual friends actually didn't believe it and stuff, which is good. Uh -huh. But like, yes, I like I despise my brother that because I found out later that he helped like spread the rumor. Oh, what an ass. And, cause my brother back then was a complete asshole to me, but now he's like a completely like different person. He's like really nice and stuff. But uh, yeah, because that that gave me like a like that just shows that he also messed with me in middle school. Cause that happened in middle school, but in high school, he literally hated me so much that he literally started an entire group of people just to hate me. I am not making that up. He literally made a fan club. Of anti Eric or something. Because in PE, what he did, he's gathered that group of people and Always have them. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I yes. died. I, I died. I don't really care. Don't worry about it. He literally. Okay, I was sitting down near the bleachers, right? Just like on my yeah. little mini laptop yeah. thing we had. And then, like, he, he calls the people to that class because he one of his uh, friends part of that group or whatever and they also bullied me while I was in that class so whenever I escaped him I really couldn't escape his friends so they bullied me and then they literally just formed around the other like bleachers near me just so they can talk shit about me like while I was sitting there I literally got so pissed off that I wanted to get up and punch every one of them in the fucking face that's what I Again, did, when I got side. bullied, no one, the teachers did shit about it. They just did not care. I mean, granted, when uh, I was in math class, I got bullied by a Christian. I know the teacher was kind of quiet and stuff, but he could have done something. Come on. Like, he did shit. I had to say something to him in order for him to do something. My teacher's always cool, dudes. But anyways, like, back to the P.E. thing. So, like, they're talking shit. I'm, like, pissed off as fuck. And then, so I noticed that my book bag was near where they were sitting. So I had to get up to where they were fucking sitting and actually go get it. So I do it silently, you know, get up slowly. 
Of course, the moment I fucking do it, they shut the hell up, of course. So when I actually go over there, they, like, make a snarky comment, like, hey, like, you loose tailpipe or something. Something about that. Which, in, like, redneck terms means they're calling you gay. So, uh, I just kind of, you know, flipped them off, walked away slowly, grabbed my things and stuff. And then they start following me into the locker room, saying they want to beat the shit out of me. And, uh, you know, I just kind of hid in the locker room until they went away. I actually, like, I was legitimately scared because I really don't want to hurt anyone. Like, I'm not, I don't, I'm not the fighting type at all, but they really push my limit. So, I, I'm man enough to admit this. I actually started crying in the locker room because I was that scared. Because they're way I, bigger than I am. Because I'm extremely God. skinny, and I'm not that tall, honestly. But, uh, yeah, until, I mean, for a while they kind of, like, stopped and stuff, but later they started doing it again, and... Uh, but the thing I, I, the reason I brought this up is because of that Christian guy. The one that was like planning all of this shit besides my brother for some reason. And uh, like, I, this was around the time that people start finding out I had a YouTube channel. You can tell where this is going. Oh shit. So, uh, the moment Christian found <laughs> I had a YouTube channel, guess what he did? You yeah, might not expect this, actually. It's not, it might not be what you expect. He actually started being extremely nice to me. Of fucking course, right? Of fucking course. I still didn't forgive him. And like, oh, he's like, oh, buddy, you have a YouTube channel? That's so cool. I'm like, get the fuck away from me. I never want you to touch me ever again, you filthy piece of waste of space. Like, you know, I despised him so fucking much for all the bullshit he put me through. And it's like, everyone was finding out my channel, and it's like, oh, and now I have instant respect for you. I'm like, oh, really? Just because I have a fucking YouTube channel that's actually worth a damn, then you care about me as a human being. Okay, I see how it is, you fucking asswipe. I see how it fucking is. Like, I despise that fool so freaking much. Like, who goes and makes the entire posse just to hate someone? Who the hell does that? Like, why is- just because I was different. I- oh, I have long hair. Oh, big fucking whoop. Big fucking whoop. You know, he was a member of ISIS. ISIS confirmed. Was... <laughs> like even the thing is, even if I was gay, let's just, let's just say that. Even if I was gay, why the fuck that. would he still do it? Yeah. Like, like what the like, fuck? Like I never got like how like just I could never got how somebody could be racist too. I, I or sexist like, for that matter. Yeah, how is that even feasible in my mind? Like in somebody's mind. I I, I don't know. I I really. I really just don't know, honestly. But yeah, I really, really didn't like that school. And when I found out that, like, hey, you know, during the summer of 2015, you know, I was moving and everything, and all that stuff, I was like, oh, there's a possibility that you have to go back to that school. I'm like, oh god, please, please no, because oh, I know exactly what's going to happen if I go back there and stuff, and... That's why, like, I legitimately got so terrified that that's why I started that Patreon account that I don't use anymore because I don't really need it. But that's why I started it because I was so terrified of going back there. Uh, what what do you need? What do you need the Patreon for specifically? Like, like raise enough money to like get an apartment in Colombia, but we didn't really didn't need it in the long run. So it's just me being paranoid and stuff. Did people donate? Uh, two people did. Uh, who who were they? Uh, Sonic player or something, maybe? I think that was his name, and someone else. I'm not exactly sure, but I don't really use it anymore or anything like that, because I don't need it, so. But yeah, that's my know story. Another guy that, like. Another guy yeah. who, what? Uh, what? Huh? That, did, oh, that John aided? Uh, n well, I knew him, but not knew, knew him. Like, he's over someone over the internet. Like, I knew who he was and everything. But, you know. Uh, pro. A hey, fun fact: I am making, um, uh, I am making Ultimate DS Man fan art right now. So there you go. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Like it feels actually really good.